Rebuttal, Mr. Cotton. Senator Pryor likes to talk about leadership in Washington. I learned leadership in the streets of Baghdad and the mountains of Afghanistan. And let me tell you, you can learn a little bit more there than you can in the halls of Congress. Leadership requires toughness, requires courage. Senator Pryor simply isn't tough enough to stand up to Barack Obama and put Arkansas first. He cast a decisive vote for Obamacare. If it wasn't for his vote, it wouldn't have become law. He can claim that he likes to make fixes now, but why didn't he demand them then? He had the power to protect Arkansas from all the harms of that law. Senator Pryor likes to talk about how he's led on, EP, on, regu on EPA regulations. Yet we've passed legislation to rein in the EPA. He can't get a vote on it. He likes to talk about the Keystone Pipeline. We've passed legislation that would permit the Keystone Pipeline. He can't get a vote on it. Why is that? Because he likes to talk one way in Arkansas, but then he votes like a liberal when he gets to Washington, D.C. And that's why a vote for Mark Pryor is a vote for Barack Obama.